I want to welcome everybody here today. Uh, thank you for joining one of our webinars. This is a special one. Uh, I'm John Corcoran, Executive Director of the American Road Society. Thank you uh, for our, being a member of the American Road Society and learning all about everything of photography and of growing roses. I'll hand it over to Kim Merritt and she's going to tell you about today. So all for attending today, we have Mr. Curtis R. Miller, the National Chair of Photography, who is going to announce the 2020 Digital Photo Contest winner. So we thank you all for joining today. And Curtis, go ahead. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, or um, good morning, if you are one of the uh, contestants that we had that entered from Australia. So it would be eight o'clock in the morning there. So hopefully they're sitting there with their coffee and uh, watching this and enjoying the reveal and the beautiful roses. I'm coming to you from sunny, cold Pennsylvania where we still have snow on the ground. Uh, pretty much everybody's been cold except for um, our illustrious president who just informed me it's 72 degrees and sunny in California where he's at and he just came in from spraying his roses. So at least he gets to enjoy his roses year round. This year's contest, the 2020 Digital Photo Contest, uh, was a record setter for the American Rose Society. This year we had 60 contestants that entered the show. This is a record number for us. 40% or uh, 24 of those people, this was their first time ever entering the show. So that was very exciting. We also had a record number of 928 photos entered this year. That is 243 more than last year. So this was great year. And of course, we had two juniors this year. That's always exciting for us to have the junior members uh, to join us. So without further talk, we're going to uh, get into the crux of everything here because you're not here to listen to me, you're here to look at beautiful rose photos. And we're gonna start like we start every year with our judges class. Um, I would like to officially thank our judges. They did an excellent job this year. Uh, it was a little bit of a odd setup for them. Um, with so many photos to judge and we split them out into teams but they trudged through very well um, got it done in a timely fashion and i really appreciate it so the fourth place entry this year was maroon eight by tom keelers <laughs> third place winner this year was 4th of July by Georgie Bever. Second place is Quietness by Tom Keelers. And the first place best judges is Affirm by Georgie Bever. So this is a very unique uh, photograph and using uh, filters on on the computer but it definitely really strikes out at you so congratulations to georgie for her best judges as i said we always enjoy having uh, the youth enter into our contests and this year is no different <clears throat> so class 14 is any type of rose, rose garden, or rose activity for all entrants under the age of 18. The honorable mention this year goes to Tomas Zulki for Perfect Moment. Third place winner goes to Kiera Kazemchek for Cherry Parfait. Second place winner goes to Kiera Kazemchek for Roberta Bondar. 
And the first place winner goes to Kiera Kazemchak for Eyes on Me. Congratulations, Kiera. Next, let's move to the novice section. Now, this is for ARS members who have not previously won an award in the first through fourth place in the ARS Digital Photo Contest. Class 12 won. One bloom, no side buds of hybrid tea, grandiflora, miniature, mini flora, and florabunda classifications of roses. Roses designated as singles are not included in this class. So the honorable mention goes to Frank Polk for Pink Promise. The third place winner goes to Ann Ball for Just Joey. Really like the, uh, the veining and such in here. Second place winner goes to Greg Madsen for Heather Sprawl. Really beautiful pink color. And the first place winner goes to Michael Eckley for Gemini. Very exquisite specimen of Gemini here. The great colorization that we've all come to know from that variety. So good job, congratulations, Michael. Class 12-2, one bloom, fully open, no side buds. Stamens must show of a hybrid tea, grandiflora, miniature, miniflora, and floribunda classification. Singles are included in this class. The honorable mention goes to Rosemary McParland for Burgundy Iceberg. Third place goes to Rosemarie McParland for Savannah. Really enjoy the, the nice colorization in here, the where you can see the stamens. Mm. Whoever is unmuted, could you mute yourself, even if that is one of the officers? Second place winner is Nandini Sivakumar for Iceberg. And first place winner for class 12-2 is Michael Watham for Sentimental. Again, great, vibrant colorization. As many of you who may have heard from me, if you've listened to any of my webinars, uh, red is one of the hardest colors to photograph. Um, so really nice representation of the red in this photograph. Congratulations, Michael. Now, class 12-3, one spray, two or more blooms of hybrid tea, grandiflora, miniature, miniflora, and floribunda classifications. <clears throat> the honorable mention goes to Lori Olson for Pope John Paul II. Nice vibrant white. Third place goes to Michael Eckley for Polonaise. Very nice decorative form there. 
Second place goes to Julianne Adamick for Strike It Rich. And first place winner for this class is Michael Eckley with Sally Holmes. Sally Holmes always performs well in photography. She's very photogenic. Congratulations, Michael. Now we move on to class 12-4, which is the bloom or spray of old garden roses, shrubs, species, polyanthus, or large climbers. Honorable mention in this class goes to Nandini Sivakumar for All the Rage. Third place goes to Nandini again for Lida Rose. Very unique uh, with the little bit of that striping there on the bottom. Um, I've seen that in real life, but I've never seen it on uh, someone who has entered a photo. So it's very unique. Second place goes to Rosemarie McParland for Paul Eck Jr. Nice, vibrant red. And the first place in this class goes to Judy Frederick for Sperry's Hoop. Nice to how, see how the sun is kind of off on the left here a little bit, and then you've got some shading throughout the rest. Really brings out the nice light to dark tones of the rose. And you know, all those stamens look fresh. This, I think this would be beautiful to see in, in person, to see as a uh, entry in a show. So congratulations, Judy. In class 12-5, this is a photo of a traditional arrangement. There was no first place winner in this class. Um, as you know, it must meet the criteria, 50% of the criteria is on being the arrangement and 50% is on the photography. The second place winner goes to Judy Frederick for an arrangement by Diane Woodruff. We had a tie for second place. Um, so Tony Newmeyer was also second place winner. Class 12-6 is a photo of a modern arrangement. Again, no first class winner or first place winner in this class. Julianne Adamick with an arrangement by Julianne Adamick. Class 12-8, Abstract or Impressionism. This is one of the, the classes that tends to get a lot of entries. People really like to play around with different uh, ways of looking at a rose. So this class is definitely a challenge to judge. The honorable mention in this class goes to Lori Olson for the meeting will come to order. I just think this is so cute with the, the little fairy princess on the top. Third place winner in this class goes to Rosemarie McParland for Carmen. Second place goes to Judy Frederick for First Light. And the first place winner in this class goes to Julianne Adamick for 4th of July. 
Sometimes black and white photography can be very striking, especially in a, in a specimen where you've got the different tones of the reds and the whites are definitely going to show up as various tones of the black, gray, and white. So congratulations, Julianne. 12.9 is a photo of a rose garden. It should show the use of roses within the structure, which can be widely variable. Roses should dominate, and some layout of the garden should be visible. The honorable mention goes to Michael Watham for Jacob Luce Park number three. See these nice winding curves. Roses are definitely dominant, not only in the foreground, but in the background as well. You see some structure, you see a path. I always say to people, if it looks like you wanna go there, that's probably a good photograph. And to me, I would love to go sit on that bench right now when it's 30 degrees here, but very nice. <clears throat> Third place winner goes to Michael Watham for Rhenish Rose Garden. Have a nice high point here that's kind of helps with your mind's eye. Lots of layout here. Second place goes to Julianne Adamick for garden number four. Nice uh, variation of colors. And the first place winner in this class goes to Michael Watham for Jacob Luce Park number one. A lot of people would, uh, I'll just point out, a lot of people might say that this uh, light post kind of might be bothersome or out of, way, out of, um, place but it actually kind of divides the photo um, so it does lend to the photograph great use of the the curve having the roses and the pillars in the background congratulations michael macro photography photographs should be of an extreme close-up photo of any part of the rose or rose plant okay the roses must be identified. And the main thing for macro photography is to take something that's very small and make it life size. So the honorable mention goes to Judy Frederick for Altissimo. I've seen Altissimo many times. Um, it does perform well in these photographs. And this is why, especially in macro. Third place, Rosemary McParland for Autumn Splendor. Great representation of the unfurling. Second place goes to Rosemary McParland for Cary Grant. I haven't seen this rose in the uh, East Coast for a while, but. Um, very nice color, very nice form there. And the first place winner in this class goes to Rosemary McParland for Beverly. All of these hues of pink and white throughout definitely keep your mind's eye going. Congratulations, Rosemary. So now we'll move into the regular class. These are for ARS members that had, did not enter in the novice. Um, <coughs> excuse me. And it is the same classes that we just saw in the novice. So the one bloom for class one, the honorable mention goes to Charles Prince for artistry. Do keep in mind, um, and I do like to mention this, 
that for the majority of these photographs, even though it may be an honorable mention, it's more like a ranking. We have 15 blue ribbons and we can only pick the top four. So looking at these photographs in any other show, they would probably maybe win that show or would definitely be blue ribbon winners. And this is no exception. Third place winner goes to Cindy Dale for Joy. The big favorite in, in for many exhibitors these days. Color, form, all of those types of things, it's, it's spot on. Second place winner goes to Kiera Kazemchak for Camille Pissarro. Keep in mind that the junior members can enter the junior class and the regular class as well. So good job, Kara. And the first place winner in this class goes to John Petrula for Lynn Anderson. Great exhibit of Lynn Anderson. Congratulations, John. Class two is the fully open bloom and it can include singles. Honorable mention for this class goes to Anne Kamioka for Miss Congeniality. I know that Anne was having a little trouble logging in earlier, so I hope that she's here. Congratulations, Anne. Third place in this class goes to John Petrula for French Lace. Exquisite rendering. I, I really enjoy the 3D look from the petals. So if it looks like this, you know the competition is stiff, right? Like I said, all four of these are first place blue ribbon winners. Second place, John Petrula for Priscilla Burton. And the first place winner goes to Kiera Kazemchak for Blueberry Hill. I don't think I've ever seen stamens and that are that yellow uh, anthers and stamens that are that yellow so it's congratulations Kiera for first place winner I don't know about you but it looks to me like buttercream icing maybe I'm just hungry <laughs> next class class three this is a spray of two or more blooms okay and the honorable mention goes to Lynette Petrula for Rennie. Great inflorescence here. Variation of the color. Good job. Third place goes to Cindy Dale for Ebb Tide. I have found that this rose can be uh, difficult to photograph. Uh, while we say that red is very difficult, um, apparently this color of purple can be quite a challenge. I've tried to do it. I know some other people who've tried to do it and it just doesn't get it right. So congratulations, Cindy, on getting it right. Second place goes to Anne Kamioka for Marietta. nice little white line along the edges of those petals just puts lots of interest and the first place winner for this class goes to pam powers for a spray of joy congratulations pam unfortunately or fortunately for pam this blue ribbon winner puts her over the hump she will now be entering the master's classes 
starting next year. So congratulations to Pam for all of her past Blue Ribbon winners, and we look forward to seeing more work from her in the master's class. Class Floor is the bloom or spray of the old garden rose shrub species Polly's or Climbers. Honorable mention goes to Rod Hoover for Lady of Shallow. Third place winner goes to Cindy Dale for Paul Neron. Great use of side light there. Cindy. Fourth, or I'm sorry, second place winner goes to Cindy Dale for Mystic Beauty. Nice pink, great use of the layout of the uh, foliage to outline the bloom. And the first place winner goes to Gail Holmes for Pink Meadyland. Congratulations, Gail. Class five, this is a photo of a traditional arrangement. There is no second place winner in this class. Was an honorable mention by Vijaya Prabhu, which was an arrangement by Vijaya and the Roses Chatuga. Um, this was in the at the uh, I don't remember if this was at the Mini National in Tennessee, maybe. But but it was a beautiful arrangement. I saw it in person. So congratulations, Vijaya. Third place goes to Ann Sherwood for an arrangement by Ann Sherwood. And the first place winner goes to Pam Powers for an arrangement by Donna Smith. This arrangement happened to have been at our Penn Jersey District uh, Convention and it really was that beautiful. So congratulations to Pam, congratulations to Donna. Um, she did win a gold, gold medal for this. Class six, photo of a modern arrangement. Honorable mention goes to Glynis Hain for an arrangement by Judith Oyston. Glynis is one of our people from Australia, so Congratulations to Glynis. Third place goes to Lynette Petrula for an arrangement by Barbara Gordon. Second place winner goes to Ann Sherwood for an arrangement by Ann Sherwood. Very nice arrangement. And the first place winner in this class goes to Christine Russell for an arrangement by Christine Russell. Very unique and very, I would imagine, difficult to photograph. Um, with the metal, sometimes it catches your eye and the lighting. So Christine, you did a great job. Congratulations. Now we'll move into class seven, which is a photo of an arrangement in the Oriental Manor. We are now changing that terminology to Far East Manor, okay? Um, so when I put this together, the judges' manuals hadn't quite been updated yet, so I didn't want to confuse anybody. There is no honorable mention in this class. Third place winner goes to Tomas Zulki for an arrangement by Tomas Zulki. Tomas is one of our um, junior 
participants as well. So congratulations, Tomas. Second place winner goes to Ann Sherwood for an arrangement by Ann Sherwood. And the first place winner, Yukiko Schwartz for an arrangement by Yukiko Schwartz. And the rose is Honeymoon Rose. So congratulations, Yukiko. Very beautiful arrangement. The placement <clears throat> was absolutely spot on. And the the photograph is spot on. It was nice to not have the shadows. And again, arrangements can be quite difficult to photograph. So congratulations. Now we move into class eight. As I said before, this is the abstract or impressionism. We get a lot of entries in these classes. So the honorable mention, Lynette Petrula for Blue Magic. Do keep in mind that these roses do not have to be named as the name of the rose because it is an artistic phenomenon. It can have an artistic name. Don't we wish that they grew like that? I'd love to have blue roses, blue and black. All right, third place goes to Rod Hoover for metal print. Very unique. Good job, Rod. Second place winner goes to Glynis Hain for Baby Boomer. It's a nice uh, bouquet of Baby Boomer. And it looks like it's made out of ribbon. And the first place winner goes to Christine Russell for Smoky Blue. Just that bright lightness coming out from the middle with those anthers and the stamen being bright white and blue. Excellent job. Congratulations, Christine. Class nine is the Rose Garden. Honorable mention goes to Kenneth Lilliquist for his photo titled Garden. Third place goes to Rod Hoover for Hoover Garden. Nice job there, Rob. I really like the uh, the white and then the pink behind. Second place winner goes to Jerry Georgette for Butchart Garden. Got lots of nice lines going across here. It actually even had taken me a second to notice there were people in there. So, you know, they're, they're kind of well hidden. And the first place winner in this class goes to Cindy Dale for the Tyler, Texas Rose Garden. I've heard so much about this rose garden. I've never had the chance to visit. Hopefully it, uh, it's on my bucket list someday, but uh, great photograph. Congratulations, Cindy. Class 10 is seedling. This is a photograph of any seedling that is not currently registered or named. It can be any type of rose and the name of the hybridizer must be listed. We added this class a few years ago because some people do grow not only their own seedlings but seedlings that other people have given them um, to trial or whatever. And so this is a way that they can participate and we can see how some of these seedlings look. The honorable mention goes to Stephen Hoy for Seedling One, Hybridizer Stephen Hoy. Third place 
goes to Glennis Hain, hybridizer Anthony Wallace in Australia. Really like the coloration in that. Second place goes to Stephen Hoy for Seedling 2, hybridizer Stephen Hoy. And the first place winner in this class goes to Stephen Hoy, Seedling 3, hybridized by Stephen Hoy. Really enjoy that little blush of pink in there in the middle um, of those petals and, and the bright yellow. Congratulations, Stephen, and I hope we get to see more of this rose in the future as it progresses. Class 11 is the macro photography. Remember here, roses must be identified. Honorable mention goes to Rod Hoover for secret. I actually love the, the fuzziness down here on the, these sepals. Um, looks like peach fuzz, so. Third place goes to Norman Rescott for La Belle Sultane. Great hip, the little water drop there. Second place winner goes to Rod Hoover for Red Flower Carpet. I just, I, when, I, when I looked at this photo, when I was cataloging it, I thought it looks like, like crystallized candy. And these, these almost look like churros to me. So, you know, I, I will say, Rod, this is exactly what macro photography is about taking something that small and making it look life-size so that you can see all that fine detail. So great job. And the first place winner in this class goes to Norman Rescott for Sally Holmes. There was um, discussion and tiebreakers between the first and second place winners. I will let you guys know that. So when it, you know, they're both winners. Um, but congratulations to Norman, great job. All right, now we're gonna move into the master's class. As I mentioned a little bit earlier, the master's class is for anyone who has won a total of five or more blue ribbons in previous American Rose digital photo contests. This does not include novice, new member, or youth classes. Also, because the competition is a lot more fierce in the master's class, there are three honorable mentions, okay? So, and they are in no specific order, the honorable mentions. Class 13, one, one bloom, any classification, no side buds. And the first honorable mention goes to Tom Mayhew for Dainty Bess. Very crisp and clear. Congratulations, Tom. The next goes to Rich Bear for Nickelodeon. You know, I never noticed before until this picture came in, but it kind of has like a green eye there in the middle. So I thought that was kind of interesting. Congratulations, Rich. And the other one goes to Rich Bear for Olympiad. As I said, red can be very difficult to photograph. So congratulations, Rich. The third place winner in this class goes to Lou Evans for Brigadoon. Yeah. 
and catching some of that orangey pink that Brigadoon is known for. Second place winner goes to Lou Evans for Mrs. Oakley Fisher. And the first place winner goes to John Mattia for Neil Diamond. Look at the symmetry on that bloom and the color on that bloom. That would need, if, if I saw that in a show, I, would, there would have to be a lot of stiff competition for me to not choose that for Queen. So congratulations, John. Class 13-2 is a spray of roses. And the first honorable mention goes to Neil Evans for Kimberlina. The use of that uh, pale blue background is definitely sets off the, the pinkish tones here to the to this spray. Nice job, Neil. The next honorable mention goes to Lou Evans for Flower Girl. I just got this rose about a year or two ago, so I'm, I can't wait till it grows up and starts to, to flower. Beautiful pinks. The third honorable mention goes to Rich Bear for Moon Dance. Very nice, Rich. Third place goes to Rich Bear for About Face. It has very unique colorization, great inflorescence. Second place goes to Rich Bear for Yesterday. And the first place winner in this class goes to Harlow Young for Tropical Lightning. Stripes seem to be doing well this year. So uh, congratulations, Harlow. And of course the use of the foliage offsetting the heaviness of the inflorescence definitely helps from the photographic standpoint. Next, we go into 13.3, which is an arrangement. Now, here it can be either Far East, Modern, or Traditional. The arranger must be identified. The first honorable mention goes to Lou Evans for an arrangement by Lou Evans. Very nice arrangement. Next honorable mention goes to Kathy Kazemchek for an arrangement by Pat Bilson. And the third honorable mention goes to Kathy Kazemchek for an arrangement by Barbara Bernhardt from the West Jersey show in 2019. I've watched Kathy take uh, pictures of arrangements. She's very detailed about making sure that she gets really good pictures. Third place goes to Lou Evans for an arrangement by Cherry Hoover. In most cases, I would say to people, be careful of the colorization of the line material, this, this goldish line. But I always enjoy when uh, the photographers give me something and, I, and it's like, oh, well, this is the exception. Um, you know, to me, the shininess of that line in this photograph is helping me to follow that part of that line. Um, so good job, Lou. Second place winner is to Tom Mayhew 
for an arrangement by Nancy Reddington. And the first place winner is to Lou Evans for an arrangement by Lou Evans. Very striking arrangement, Lou. Just really enjoyed that arrangement. I would have loved to have seen it in person. Congratulations, Lou, on a beautiful arrangement and on a first place. Now let's go into the abstract or impressionism. The master's class people really like to stretch the boundaries here. And so it makes very unique situations for judging because uh, sometimes the judges have to stop and they really have to think about it. So let's look at uh, what challenges they had this year. So the first honorable mention goes to John Mattia, digitally painted homegrown roses wedding bouquet. It's very striking to look like it was oil painted of a bride on her wedding day. Next honorable mention goes to Bill Kazemchek for Randy Scott. Selective colorization here. Definitely intriguing, pulls you into the middle of the rose. The next honorable mention goes to Linda Berg for Vintage Manhattan. Again, more of a um, alternate type of processing here, almost a cross between a black and a white versus um, what would be a negative versus positive. Third place winner in this class, goes to John Mattia for Monet's Inverse Rose Garden. I found this very unique uh, to have the, the photograph that was being painted, the real photo, and the rest of it to look as a Monet painting. Second place in this class goes to Rich Bear for Joyfulness Bloom. It almost looks like it's silver to me. And the texturization really makes it stand out. And the first place winner in this class goes to John Mattia for American Beauty Rose. Congratulations, John. Very unique interpretation. Thirteen five is of Rose Gardens. The first honorable mention goes to John Mattia for Elizabeth Park Rose Garden. Next honorable mention goes to Harlow Young, Master Gardener's Formal Rose Garden in Kennewick, Washington. Very unique colorizations and the path. The next honorable mention in this class goes to Bill Kazemchek for Tyler Rose Garden number two. Can definitely make out a lot of these roses. Great use of color. Third place in this class goes to Tom Mayhew for the Peggy Rockefeller Rose Garden. Nice symmetry here, even though it is off-centered a little bit, using a little bit of that rule of thirds um, that applies to photography. Very unique. Second place winner, 
goes to Kathy Kazemchak for the Elizabeth Park Rose Garden. I have a feeling there's going to be some uh, disruptions at the Kazemchak house tonight. <laughs> and the first place winner goes to Kathy Kazemchak for Tyler Rose Garden number two. Congratulations, Kathy. Really great photograph. Now we move into the Masters for Macro Photography. The first honorable mention goes to Rich Bear, and this is a peduncle of fortune. The next honorable mention goes to Neil Evans for James Mason. The third honorable mention goes to Richard Howard for Playgirl. Really like that nice yellow, deep yellow on the anthers there. Third place goes to Rich Bear for Stormy Weather Stem. Second place goes to Rich Bear for Oracle of Sparry's Hoop. And the first place winner in this class goes to Harlow Young for Prickles Landscape. Harlow likes to use um, different things. Uh, you can use like spheres of glass and such um, in front of your camera um, to get unique perspectives of how things look. So it almost looks to me like a Martian landscape. So congratulations, Harlow. Seedling. So the seedling class in the master's class was very well represented. The first honorable mention goes to Rich Bear for Dancer 2, hybridized by Rich Bear. The next honorable mention goes to Rich Bear for Hooter 4, hybridized by Rich Bear. The third honorable mention goes to Rich Bear for Simrob 1, hybridized by Rich Bear. Third place in the seedling, goes to Bill Kazemchek for Ben Samoa, hybridized by Frank Benardella. Second place goes to Rich Bear for Hooter 2, hybridized by Rich Bear. Really like the uniqueness of this one. And the first place for seedling goes to Rich Bear for Hooter 1, hybridized by Rich Bear. Congratulations, Rich. Very unique seedling. Now we do offer a, or have a, um, challenge class type situation for our master photographers. And we decided a few years ago to make it cycle of bloom. And it is an entry of three photographs, one of one variety showing the three stages of development. This class is not eligible for the best in show award. 
but it's a something for them to kind of practice with and to try and see how they do. There is only one winner since it is a challenge class, and the winner this year is Rich Bear for Elena. So congratulations, Rich. Now let's get to the certificates. The ARS offers certificates and we have, I have started giving out certificates um, as the chair of the photography section to help encourage people to get ARS certificates. There are certain certificates that we cannot offer, but there are a lot of the horticultural type ones that we can offer. We just specify on it that it is given for a photograph, not for a horticultural entry. And of course, one of the first ones that we always like to give is the best novice certificate. So the first place winner in each of the novice classes was voted on by the judges. And the best novice is Rosemary McParland for Beverly. So congratulations, Rosemary. You will be getting a um, certificate in the mail here in the next few weeks. Congratulations. Next certificate is the best junior one bloom certificate. And that goes to Kiera Kazemchak for Eyes on Me. Congratulations, Kiera. The next certificate is the Best Floribunda One Bloom Certificate. And this year, that certificate goes to Kiera Kazemchek for Blueberry Hill. So congratulations, Kiera. This is Kiera's first um, certificate in the regular class. So congratulations to her. Best seedling this year goes to Rich Bears Hooter One. So congratulations, Rich. Really enjoy that colorization and those those anthers are just very unique. To me, they look like sliced strawberries. So red around the edges and white in the middle. Congratulations. Next seedling is Best Modern Shrub. And the Best Modern Shrub certificate this year goes to Gail Holmes for Pink Midland. Congratulations, Gail. Best Miniature Spray certificate is awarded to Pam Powers for her spray of joy. Beautiful spray, congratulations, Pam. Best climber this year goes to Harlow Young for his tropical lightning. Congratulations, Harlow. Now, in the ARS photography, there is a gold, silver, and bronze medal. In order to be eligible for these medals, the person who took the photograph also has to be the person who created whatever they're photographing. So if they took a photograph of a rose, they have to have grown that rose. If it's a photograph of an arrangement, they have to have been the arranger for that arrangement. This has nothing to do with first, second, and third place. This has to do with exhibitor grown. So the bronze certificate this year goes to John Petrula for Lynn Anderson. So congratulations, John.
The silver medal this year goes to Gail Holmes for her pink Medeland. So congratulations, Gail. And the gold certificate this year goes to John Mattia for his photo of Neil Diamond. So congratulations, John. Now, the best in show winner does not have to be exhibitor grown. Only the gold, silver, and bronze medals must be exhibitor grown. So all the blue ribbon winners are eligible for this award. And as I'm sure most of you know, the best in show award is a surprise. So the best in show winner will be on the cover of the May, June issue of American Rose. All first place photographs will appear sometime this year within the um, American Rose magazine. So I can tell you that the March, April issue has the um, novice class, the junior class, and the judges class in it, okay? But um, we want you to, you know, make sure that you are looking at your magazine, looking at the um, visual impact section. I would like to thank you all for your support and for your attendance. This will be my last time presenting this um, as I will no longer be the national chair of photography after this year. So I'm hoping that whomever takes this over continues to thrill you all and provide you with a look at all of the winners, not just the first place winners. And that concludes my presentation. Thank you all so much for your attention and your time.